Okay. As you might know, uh, Jessup has gone into administration. And it's not really the topic of this video, but um, last year I bought a bag from there, which is my camera bag I use for my Panasonic HS900, which uh, you can see the review of down there. And, you know, I've done a review of some of the other accessories that I've got for my camera, like the X-Grip and the Gorilla Pod tripod thing from JW. So today I thought I'd show you my kind of the last one, which is the bag I got from Jessup's uh, about a year ago. Now, here's the back. Um, and the front doesn't look like when I bought it because I've kind of covered it in badges and stuff. I'll give you a quick look inside. So here's the inside of the bag. Um, you can see it's got six compartments at the moment, but these are all removable. And you can arrange it so that you've got, you know, five, four, one. And then these can hold separate things. So I've got a uh, fisheye in that one, some lens in that one. Um, and then I keep the main camera there, kind of in a vertical position. And you've still got room for like power supply, uh, spares, and then just other things. And um, that sort of size can also fit a drinks can. So I'll quickly show you the top. So on the front, you've got this flap, and then and that is it. And then you've got a room for kind of something there, maybe a sandwich or some tapes uh, if you've got an old camera. And then you get the main bit. So the zip is catching, which is where I fit my X grip. That's right. You can fit that in there, and there's still loads of room. Um, and then the top here, you get room for the cards. I think there's one in there. Yep. And but in there, you know, you've got room for drinks or food or lenses or anything else for a day trip. So that's pretty cool. The reason I went with that bag um, for my camera instead of say something like this, a bit more traditional, is because the rucksack you get two straps, so it's comfier. And it doesn't look like a camera bag. Well, maybe it did, but it doesn't look like it now. And that's and that's just kind of a cool little thing. If you're kind of worried about your camera getting nicked or something, maybe put it in something that doesn't look like a camera bag where you're travelling. Plus, I've got all the room for the accessories like the X-Grip, which I really wanted. Um, and the only thing I can't fit in there is like the, the tripod. So, if you've got a microphone or flash or anything like that, big lenses, they fit in the rucksack. It's comfy. You've still got room for like drinks cans and, and shit like that, so... Shame just is closing down. Um, I'm not sure if you can still get this bag, because I think today might have been the last day. Uh, I was going to make this video yesterday, <laughs> so a bit late. Um, but I'm sure you can get like similar bags around, so... Um, so yeah, this video is just kind of more of a handy tip uh, for your camera. So if you're looking for a bag, my advice would be, get a rucksack. Pretty cool. But... Make sure you get one like this where the section kind of folds out, kind of in in half like that. Because then you then you've still got um, this this bit's protected by two zips and a clip there, so it's kind of hard to get into. And if you don't want to put a padlock on it, you could, but you know, just it's just better for thieves. No, it's not better for thieves. It's better for you to avoid thieves. That's what I meant. And if you haven't already, and I know you haven't because there's no likes on it at the moment, but I've made a new Facebook page, that'll be in the link below as well, and on the homepage, so check that out.